Hi, this is Mike from GetVoip.com, and today I'm going to show you how to configure the Counterpath X-Lite or iBeam phones for the PC or Mac to be used through your Vocalocity service. There are two of the three SIP-based soft phones, which are not offered through Vocalocity, but through Counterpath. The X-Lite is the more basic of the, the three, which is free, and the iBeam is starting at about $45 each and that's for 1 to 49 lines obviously going down as you get higher in tiers. So the first step is to go to Counterpath site, click products, X light, scroll down, download, we are working with Windows, and just like that, you will start to grab the soft phone off of their site. So once the executable file is downloaded, you can go ahead and start to install it. And this will just take a few moments. Okay, so the XLite setup wizard is all complete. Okay, so the next step is to log into your Vocalocity account. And it'll bring you to this familiar screen. On the left side here, you're going to start by clicking Extensions. your main extension, the one that you're dealing with. And you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here and click Devices. Now you'll see this tab open up and this is essentially all the information that you're going to need to set up your X-Lite phone. So I'll just bring that back up. Okay, so you'll notice that I have the X-Lite soft phone opened up next to the tab that I just opened under devices. The reason for that is I'm going to need some information from over here that I need to transfer into the soft phone settings. So the first thing you want to do is click account settings. I've already entered this information into these values so you can pause during my tutorial and maybe you know reference this. It's all up to you but I'm going to show you how to do it right now anyway. Under user ID, you're going to need your SIP authorization ID, which you're just going to copy right off of here, VH212370. For domain, you're going to need the SIP registrar, which is this address right here. For password, this actually isn't set yet, you're going to have a default, which you probably won't know. So you're just going to go ahead and delete that and make a new one. Remember, your password has to have one capital letter and one number and between, be between 8 to 12 characters. So make sure that goes live. You just go ahead and click Save. Okay, that was successful. And you're just going to go ahead and enter that same password over here. And finally, under Authorization Name, that's going to be the same as the user ID which you entered, so the top and bottom lines should be the same. So everything right here is great. Don't even worry about the account name. That has no bearing on whether or not the device will work. Next step is to go to voicemail. Change this to star 100. And finally, you're going to go to the advanced tab and change all of these values to 30. The final step here is you're going to want to go back into the soft phone tab, click preferences, audio codecs, and the only one you want to keep here is G711U law. So you can go ahead and send the other two back from whence they came. Click OK. okay so I'll just go ahead and make a test call.
The cell phone seems to be working perfectly. It's now fully provisioned for use with my Vocalocity service. Whether you're configuring the XLite or the iBeam, it doesn't matter. It's the same exact setup I just showed you. It's worth noting that neither of those phones, so the cell phones, will work independent. You must have a pre-existing VoIP service to use either of them. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. This has been Mike from GetVoIP.com. Yeah.